Hello, sports fans and out-of-the-park baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And I got another White Sox update in my 1994 White Sox playthrough, in which we are in 1996 currently. And uh, we will take a look at the situation right now. We just got past the trade or not the trade deadline we just got past the uh, expansion of rosters so we are in um september 1st rosters have expanded we'll take a look at the people who um my my gm brought up we brought up uh, al fifield who has pitched for us this season he's not very good uh you can see he is 0-1 um, with one save. Well, no, he's got a 217 earned run average. I guess he, I must be thinking of one of the other guys. Uh, we brought up Tommy Gilbert. Uh, Tommy Gilbert has a 1223. Maybe I was thinking of Tommy Gilbert. He has a 1223 earned run average um, and is 1-5 in, in eight starts for us. We brought up uh, Austin Glenn. He is a uh, starting. He's mainly a starting pitcher in AAA. He was a starting pitcher, but I don't foresee starting him. Maybe, maybe spot start him down the stretch a little bit, but we still have to win. We're still in a situation where we need to win. So I'm not ready to, you know, just be throwing people out there. There's another guy, Taurus Prostis. Uh, he is 1-0 with a six earned run average for us this year. Danny Turner, I don't think, no, he has been up. Okay, he's been up. Um, he's got a 13.50 earned run average, though, but only in two innings pitched. And then we have Dustin Livingston, second baseman. Uh, Eric Devlin, second baseman. Center fielder, Matt Austin. Um, shortstop. Minho Kim, right fielder, uh, Jose Hernandez. I think this is the Jose Hernandez that was like on the Brewers in real life, but he's 35 years old. So uh, we've got Jim Weaver, who is a catcher in our minor league system. He's been up a little bit for us. Not very good. As you can see in 1996, he's hitting 071. Uh, Mike Schoen uh, has not been up for us. No, he hasn't. But he has graduated from double A AA to triple A this year. And then Almedo, Almedo Sens, 25-year-old um, third baseman. And uh, in real life, I think he was on the uh, Diamondbacks. I Maybe I'm thinking I remember him on the Diamondbacks in real life. But anyway... Those are the guys that we brought up. So we've got some depth that we can work with um, um, going forward. Um, and now let's take a look at where we are. Let's take a look at the standings. You can see we are in second place in the central right here. Four games behind the Indians. And in the wild card, we are five and a half games ahead of the Blue Jays, and we just came off beating them two games in a row. So let's take a look at the team schedule. Um, and this is going to be the first game of September right here. Uh, oh, wait a minute. No, this is... Yes, that's going to be the first game of September. But if we look back at August, we can see that we beat Toronto 9-5 and 4-3. Those were very key wins because we can make the, the wild card. I mean, we can be the wild card team. We're five and a half up um, to do that. So I like our chances. We have one more against Detroit. It's going to be a key game. We're going to have to win that one. And then we got a three-game series against Detroit. Then we play the East. Basically, we play Boston and then Baltimore and then Boston. And then we have a key series down here against the Indians. It may at that time end up being a key series because we, as you can see in the standings, 
are only four games behind the Indians. So there is a possibility that we can end up winning the division. We're only four games back, and we have at least four games left against Cleveland. Uh, so if Cleveland stumbles coming down the stretch, that could bode well for us. Now, uh, we do have one of the worst... Um, one of the worst minor league systems in Major League Baseball at this point. So the Indians, the guys that the Indians have promoted and are going to be able to use going down the stretch, are probably better than ours. How would you like to manage the Indians this year? Uh, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? This is a chance to manage in the big leagues. Let me think it over, will you, Charlie? Um, so... You know, we're, we're going to have to uh, deal with that. But the key right here is this. We can win the wild card. The wild card is ours to win. We're five and a half up with uh, only like 20-something left to play. So I like our chances there. And so that is where we are. We are at the just after the uh, promotion of minor league players. And uh, going into the last month of the year, let's just take a one last look at the team schedule because you've got the September and then uh, none in October. So really, it's only September. And there are one, two, three, four, five days that we don't play. So we've got 25 games left. 25 games left and we're five and a half up in the wild card. I think I like that. And... Um, and like I said, four back in the division, we have three against Cleveland. So we're four back in the division with three against Cleveland. We'll see, but we've got like, we play a lot against Minnesota, uh, quite a few games here against Minnesota, and they're the last place team in our division. Uh, now, Baltimore is the top team in the East. Let's just take a quick back look at that. Um, they are the top team in the East, but the Red Sox are the worst team in the East. So I like our chances going forward. We're going to... No one in their right mind would bet against the Chicago White Sox. Have a good record, that's for sure. Um, and we'll take a, a look at my managerial history. You can see right here, this is 1996. We're currently 79 and 58. Hitting 288 with a 485 team earned run average. And uh, overall, for the three seasons that I've managed the White Sox, like I said, this started in 94, and we're in 96 and about to complete 96, and I am 249 and 212 in that time for a winning percentage of 540. So uh, we're doing well, and uh, again, I'm just the manager of the team. I'm not the general manager. I didn't want all the general manager hassles that go along with it. Um, you know, the trade-off is that there are times I would have wanted to bring somebody up for the bullpen where, you know, he didn't do that, but, um, I'm, but I'm getting, I'm getting on fine just being the manager and, uh, and I like where we are. So what do you guys think? Uh, leave me a thumbs up. Uh, any comments would be appreciated. Um, we'll see what we can do going forward. Now, I do have um, injuries right now, a key injury right now to Ventura, Robin Ventura, but um, he should be back before the end of the season. And uh, let's see here, rosters and transactions. And uh, Robin Ventura, fractured finger, IL time left, um, three, three days. No, wait, in, wait. I guess we're going to have to renew it because it's really three weeks. So he should be back right at the end of the season or just before the playoffs. Um, but you can see these are the other guys. But a lot of these other guys are not. Um, uh, Allen's or Jermaine Allensworth, he got injured. He got injured in the uh, uh, out, outside of the game. He actually was walking an old woman across the street. You know, they make those things up. Kind of funny, the stuff that they come up with. But anyway, that's where we are. Uh, just wanted to give you a quick update. But that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.